In this problem, we have been given that to find out the integration of sine inverse under root x minus cos inverse under root x divided by sine inverse under root x plus cos inverse under root x dx. Okay. So please pause the video and try by yourself. If you cannot do it, come to the video again and see the solution. And one more thing, those who are new to my channel, please do subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that whenever I upload any new videos, you get notified in the first hand. And hey, don't forget to like, share and comment my videos. Thank you so much. Please try this sum and come again. Okay, here we know that. Let me just do a little inverse trigonometric function over here. We know that sine inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2 only when your x lies between minus 1 and 1. Sine inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2 is not every time. It's only when x is lying between minus 1 to 1. So, in this case, if we observe the denominator, we can replace this sine inverse under root x plus cos inverse under root x by pi by 2 only if your x is lying between, under root x is lying between minus 1 and 1, that implies x lies between 0 and 1. Am I correct? Therefore, Sine inverse under root x plus cos inverse under root x can be written as, can be replaced by pi by 2 only when x is lying between 0 and 1. Is it clear? So, the integration becomes, if the denominator is replaced by pi by 2, so it will give you 2 by pi integration sine inverse root x minus cos inverse root x. Fine. Now again, cos inverse root x can be replaced by pi by 2 minus sine inverse under root x dx. So, if I open the bracket, we are going to have 2 sine inverse x dx minus I am just separating it. After opening the bracket, we are separating. So, we are having 2 by pi into pi by 2 integration dx. So, it's basically 4 by pi sine inverse root x dx minus integration dx only. So, from here we can write it is 4 by pi integration sine inverse root x dx minus x. Now, let root x is p, that implies 1 by 2 root x dx is dp implies dx is basically 2p dp. So, if I replace it, the integration will become 2p sine inverse p dp minus x. Now, let me take this 2 outside. So, it will be 8 by pi integration p sine inverse p dp minus x. Now, this integration I will do it by integration by parts. Taking sine inverse p as my first function and p as my second function. So, what we are having? 8 by pi sine inverse p as my first function integration p dp minus integration ddp of sine inverse p integration of p dp whole dp yes and minus x is there is it okay so we are having 8 by pi it's half p square sine inverse p minus half integration p square by under root 1 minus p square dp. Is it clear? And minus x is there. Is it okay to all of you?
okay so now you see i will do a little manipulation by taking this minus this minus inside so put this thing as plus and then i'm adding one subtracting one so what we are having 8 by pi p square by 2 sin inverse p plus half now 1 minus p square under root divided by under root 1 minus p square will give you 1 minus p square dp and then you separate with this minus 1 so we are having minus half integration dp by under root 1 minus p square is it okay so it's 8 by pi p square by 2 sin inverse p and now we have to apply the formula of under root a square minus x square so that is x into can you remember it can you remember the formula x into under root a square minus x square by 2 plus a square by 2 sin inverse x by a so exactly that formula i'm applying over here so in place of x we have to write here as p so p under root 1 minus p square by 2 plus a square by 2 a here is 1 a square by 2 sine inverse x by a means it's only sine inverse p close the bracket minus this is half sine inverse p again close the bracket and minus x okay so 8 by pi p square by 2 sine inverse p plus let me just open the bracket this so we are having 1 by 4 p under root 1 minus p square plus 1 by 4 sine inverse p okay minus half sine inverse p minus x so we are having what 8 by pi which is outside now this one and this one will give you minus 1 by 4 sine inverse p okay so it's basically p square by 2 in the next step we are going to put the value of p sine inverse p plus 1 by 4 it's p under root 1 minus p square and then minus 1 by 4 over here sine inverse p plus c and oh, i'm sorry i'm sorry x is there minus x and then you add a constant of integration c so now in place of p let me just put the value we know that p is nothing but under root x so if i put it what we are going to have 8 by pi so it is basically x by 2 sine inverse root x plus 1 by 4 p is basically root x so it is basically under root p is root x and i am taking that root x inside this root sign so we are having what x minus x square yes or no because p square will give you what x and this x will be multiplied to get minus x square and in this case it's minus 1 by 4 sine inverse root x okay now close the bracket minus x plus c that's it and that's your answer that's your answer have you got it therefore the answer is 8 by pi into x by 2 sine inverse root x plus 1 by 4 under root x minus x square minus 1 by 4 sine inverse root x now you can take 1 by 4 common and you can do that a uh, little more uh, simplification that's okay but have you understood this problem clearly Pakka? everything is okay with you okay see you in my next video take care